Meeting a footballer called Max Power builds expectation, so it is good to see his name written on the gymnasium board as winner of the Wigan Athletic Players Triathlon Challenge. Power completed 5 km on the treadmill, 10 km on the bike and rode for 2.5 km in 45 minutes 1 second. Fitness is something I've always prided myself on and the competitive nature kicks in, says the 24-year-old midfielder whose stamina was in evidence during Wigan's remarkable 1-0 victory against Manchester City that set up today's FA Cup quarter-final against Southampton. Besides being on the receiving end of a Fabian Delph tackle that got the City player sent off, power seemed to cover every blade of grass on that famous Monday night a month ago. The GPS data was through the roof, he says. I was close to covering 14 kilometers, 8.6 miles, and I don't think I've ever covered that much ground in a game. The city result brought back memories of 2013 when Wigan won the FA Cup itself against the same opponents before embarking on a turbulent period in which they have been relegated three times, and promoted once. Their late win at Bradford on Wednesday night put them second in League One with games in hand and the victory against Pep Guardiola's side will be talked about for years, only City's second domestic defeat in 39 matches this season. Guardiola was fuming after Delph had been sent off on the stroke of half-time for catching power but the Wigan player points to a remaining scar on his left shin to underline the impact of the challenge. I'd never be one to try to get a player sent off to gain an advantage, he says. The ball broke loose and I was preparing myself for a 50-50 tackle but I got there first and touched the ball past Delph. He's come in full-blooded and caught me late. But City were better with 10 men in the second half. They could play with 9 and it would still feel like they had more men than you the way they pass and move. And when we felt really tired, they sent Kevin De Bren on. Wigan worked overtime to secure a famous win, with Will Grigg scoring the only goal after 79 minutes. Power was first on the scene to celebrate. I'm surprised I didn't give him whiplash, says Power with a wince. Will doesn't see me coming, he is celebrating and I've ran in and nearly snapped his back in half. Wigan have beaten Bournemouth, West Ham and City from the top flight, so surely struggling Southampton who sacked Mauricio Pellegrino and appointed Mark Hughes last week, will be a cinch. Everyone will think we should be favourites. Of course we're not, they have some quality players, says Power. Ryan Bertrand has won a Champions League, Cedric won Euro 2016 with Portugal. Personally, I'm a big fan of Nathan Redmond. Power has to be one of the most experienced players of his age, with more than 250 first-team appearances already in his career. At 11. He chose local club Tranmere over Liverpool because he thought it would provide a quicker pathway to first-team football. When John Barnes became manager, he put 15-year-old power in the reserves. It was my job to clean his boots every morning which was surreal because he is such a legend, says Power. He took a liking to me as a player and got me involved in first-team training. He joined as well and was probably still the best player by a mile. When you got a well done from John Barnes or, assistant manager, Jason McAteer, you'd feel 10 foot tall. Barnes wasn't at Tranmere long and the club's financial problems eventually saw them fall out of the league in 2015. Power scored 13 goals that season but was devastated when they lost 3-2 at Plymouth to get relegated. It was sickening. It still haunts me because my dad is a big Tranmere fan and I only grew up 10 minutes from the club. Power joined Wigan, that summer and they were promoted in his first season but relegated back to League One last year, though an FA Cup fourth round tie at Old Trafford was a highlight. Power enjoying an individual duel with then England captain Wayne Rooney. This season's cup exploits have put the club on the map again, with longtime owner Dave Whelan in advance talks to sell to a Hong Kong based consortium. On the touchline, manager Paul Cook is making a name for himself, clashing with Guardiola during the city game. On the pitch, Power, Chris and Max after the family dog, has played in every position bar goalkeeper and centre forward. Playing in the Premier League is an ambition and he believes the best route may be to get there with Wigan. First, though, it's Southampton and the chance for him to play an FA Cup semi-final at Wembley, three years after going out of the league. We are on the global stage, he says. This game against Southampton is the biggest occasion I've ever played in.